Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Previously, we cleared out the Team Rocket base, which was hidden underground in an old ninja hideout. And we went into the Ice Gym here, the seventh gym in Johto. And we cleared out all the trainers there as well, so right away, we can start by challenging the gym leader. But first, there's a little something we need to look at. I'm going to go into my bag, and I'm going to look for a rare candy. Where, oh where, is my rare candy? Um, wait, maybe it's in the medicine? That's odd. I, I know I have at least, yeah, there's four rare candy. And I am going to give it to Ifri, to my starter, who's level 35. What? Ifrit is evolving! Like this is a surprise to me. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Congratulations, your Ifrit evolved into Typhlosion. Oh, baby. Now that's a combination of Typhon and Explosion, I think? As a fellow connoisseur of the Greek, what with me being called Zephyr, that, that tickles me. Oh, Ifrit, you're beautiful. Let's look at ya. Careful and alert to sounds. Look at that. Pretty decent stats overall. He's a real force to be reckoned with now. But yes, I think my entire team is now a force to be reckoned with because... I leveled every Pokemon I own, well, except for Carbuncle, who's still an Eevee, up to level 35, and 35 is a quite magical number. Because that's the level I set in my rules that allows me to do trade evolutions. So Leviathan's 35, Kraken's 35, Sabine, 35, and also a Machamp. Look at that. Oh, he's beautiful. Um, so the no guard ability is really good because this gives submission, which he learned at uh, like level 33 maybe, 100% uh, accuracy. Grabs the foe and recklessly dies into the ground, also hurts the user slightly, but that is a really powerful uh, physical fighting type move, so that's super good. Meanwhile, I have Karate Chop for something a bit more safe. And Lich. Finally, at long last, a Gengar. 102 special attack. Oh, god, that's great. A bit fragile with that minuscule defense and special defense, but with that attack and speed, oh, it doesn't need anything more. It's got Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. What more does it need? And Ultros. Level 35 as well. But of course, that's not all. Let's have a quick look at everyone in my PC. Oh yeah. For it, level, um... Let's look at everyone's summary here. Wedge is level 35. Faith is level 35. High Wind could evolve at level 36. Um, I could use it to give it a rare candy, but I might as well not bother. I don't plan on using Highwind anytime soon. Behemoth and Brawn are still Nita Reno and Nita Ran, uh, Nita Rena. Um, they learn Poison Jab eventually, and the longer I can go while keeping them this level, uh, in this evolved form, better because if I use a Moonstone to evolve them, they stop learning moves as they level up. That's a big drawback to stone evolutions. Ah, Malboro is now wheezing instead of coughing. Uh, Perogo, I opted to evolve him into a Poliwrath. I debated long and hard between Poliwrath and uh, Politoed, but 
I wanted another fighting type, I really did. Even if Perogo doesn't currently know any fighting moves. Yeah, it's kind of bad, but maybe the move relearner will do him justice. Alexander, now a Steelix. 150 defense and 108 HP. Against physical things, this thing is a wall. Good lord. It's just a shame that its speed is so horrible. Uh, Lina, or Lina, I forget how it's pronounced, evolved into Sea King. Pretty mediocre. Not my first pick for a water type out of the many I own. Matoya, dear sweet precious Matoya, now at long last, a slow king. Oh, it's so good to have this. Man, if I could just get Matoya to learn Psychic, which I think happens in like the late level 40s. God, Matoya's gonna be perfect with Surf and Ice Beam to back it up, plus with Psychic. Oh yeah, Matoya's good. One of my favorite Pokemon, easily. Uh, I think that does it for this box, but if we go to the Crew 2, we can see that Lightning is now an Electrode. I am liking that plus special attack nature. That's really good. But yes, everyone I have right now with me is my Ice Lane team. So let's go fight Price. Here we are. So I do have some kind of a plan. Gym leaders always pretty much start with their weakest Pokemon. Except for Bugsy, but Bugsy was probably an anomaly due to um, U-Turn. So looking at my Pokemon, we're on tap. Looking at my Pokemon, I think... Whatever the first Pokemon is, Ultros can probably tank it. So Barrier sharply raises defense. Um, most ice moves are probably going to be special coming from Price, but... I am thinking that Price probably has... Physical attackers and maybe Sneasel, Swinub, and maybe Piloswine. And God forbid Mamoswine, but I doubt that because it's a Gen 2. It might be worth it to put up a barrier first, so I think we'll start with barrier, then use Toxic Spikes, and from there we'll have Ultros weather as far as it can get. And after that, who I swap out to will depend a lot on the circumstances, so we're just gonna wing it from there. But yeah, Barrier, then Toxic Spikes. We'll see. I do have to remember that Lich does have Levitate, so... If it does have a Ground-type, that would be super effective against Poison, like Ultros has. Um, so I can predict that and send out Lich to tank the Ground hit. And I do have Leviathan on standby for Intimidate. We'll just have to wing it. Nothing else for it, let's go. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been training Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. This guy is cool. Pun intended. I like him. We're indoors! Where'd that wind come from? Okay, level 30 seal. That's good, actually. I think we're good. So, barrier, even though it's probably gonna be useless, or... I couldn't put it past him from swapping out soon, so... Um... Nah, I think we'll start with barrier.
hail, you're sitting up weather. Ah, crap, I don't think anyone I have knows, like, a weather move. Uh-oh. So I'm gonna take damage every turn. Wait, does seal not part ice? Is it just pure water? That's interesting. Um, and also ice type moves will get us attack bonus. That's pretty bad. Okay, toxic spikes. Anything that gets swapped in will be poisoned. Icy wind. Yeesh. Don't get frozen. Alright, that did minimal damage. Seal isn't evolved after all. I do like how its rear flippers look like a water spout. That is a neat detail. Um, which will do more damage? Probably acid. So yeah, from here we have Ultros. Just stay in as long as possible. Unless it swaps to like a really hard hitting ground type. In fact, with how slow this is going, maybe we can run out the weather. It lasts five to eight turns, I think. If it's just Price's first Pokemon that knows hail, that's good for me. Okay. Since it's asleep, this might be a really good chance to swap in. It is asleep, isn't it? Okay. Do I want to go for a Lich? Use your Thunderbolt on it. Ooh. Let's give that a shot. Oh, beautiful. Look at that beast. Gengar's cool. Okay, hail stop. That's perfect, that's perfect. Okay. Thunderbolt. This will one-shot it, of course. Yeah, it's unevolved and... Gengar is just that powerful. Dugong. Okay. Step up in difficulty to be sure, but it should still be weak to Thunderbolt. I wonder if this price is ace. Probably not. Ooh. Okay, the poison's gonna finish it off, but Lich will take this hit. Ooh. Uh, I did more damage than I would have liked. But at least it wasn't hailing, and at least that wasn't a crit. That could have been a lot worse. Pilo Swine. Level 34. This is his ace. Huh, you are quite the trainer. Now. Trainer AI in these games are usually pretty dumb. This thing's probably just gonna look and see that Lich is poison type and then use a ground type in response, and that'll be that. It won't count account for the ability. However, I can't depend on that. If this thing uses something like a rock type move, like maybe Ancient Power, that might be really bad. Lich probably can't take a hit from this, not one. So I'm going to swap to Leviathan, I'll keep the flying advantage of not being hit by ground type moves, and we'll get an Intimidate off on it, severely weakening its physical attack. Here we go. Hail! Okay, it's setting up weather again. Oh, this is bad. I think Leviathan takes neutral damage to ice because water resists ice, maybe? But still, being part flying, this is a bit scary. So... I think it would be best if I used Aqua Tail, actually. 
low accuracy. I should have given Leviathan a zoom lens, or wide lens, rather. Uh, but this should be our best bet in terms of damage. It missed. Perfect. <gasps> Ooh, that's a strong nice time move. The strongest, actually. Haha. <sighs> right. Okay. If it would be really bad if Aqua Tail both missed and the Blizzard next turn crit. If that happens, Leviathan would die, but the sheer odds of it are so small, I don't believe it could possibly happen. It hit. I think we're good. Yes! Ooh. Defeated Leader Price. Hmm, seems as my luck has run out. I am I am impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Receive the Glacier Badge from Price. That badge will raise the special stats of Pokémon. It also lets your Pokémon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. And this? This is a gift for me! Is this... Hail or Blizzard? Hail! Okay. It summons a Hailstorm that lasts for five turns. The hailstorm damages all types except ice. Well... Oh well, when the ice and snow melts, spring arrives. You and your Pokémon will be together for many years to come. Cherish your time together. Well, I appreciate the sentiment about cherishing time together, but... Together for years yet to come? I doubt it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, a phone call from Professor Elm. Zephyr, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They were talking about Team Rocket. Zephyr, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. Click. Well, thou. Something weird is going on with the radio. I think? Oh, yeah. The Goldenrod Radio... ...place. I think, I think Team Rocket does take that over. Here we are in Goldenrod, flew right on over on High Wind, and I took the liberty of swapping up my team to something more suitable for maybe fighting Team Rocket? We got Lich, Matoya, Sabine, Armin, Leviathan, and Ifrit. Yeah, I was debating between Ifrit and Omega, but I don't know. My start evolved. It's nice to use them. So, I think the ri Oh, hello. Hey, brat, you don't belong here. Get lost? Huh, not even blocking my way. Oh, hello. Yeah, there's a lot of rocket here. Take over the radio tower. What? It's none of your business? Oh, I'm gonna make it my business. Let's go in. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Welcome to Goldenrod's radio tower. Or maybe not. I'm sorry to tell you this, but no one can visit the tower now. We'll see about that. Who are you? We have some business going on. I was told not to let anyone pass but Team Rocket. Do you understand? You are only allowed to come through when you are wearing the cool black uniform for Team Rocket. No. You don't think... Hold on. The photography place. Hey, hey. Huh? Are you a newcomer too? We had a recruit 
had to recruit new members for the Radio Tower mission. Then we ran out of uniforms. I heard the studio has some, so I decided to borrow one. Since you're here, why don't you change as well? <gasps> Look at you, pretty good. Oh, but you shouldn't try to scare people walking around looking like that, okay? Oh, this is the greatest day of my life. Okay, a, par a part of me wants to try and fly out of here and just continue on east of Mahogany and just keep this uniform. But... Uh, probably won't let me. Okay. <laughs> well, let's head on in. Ha! Ah, you must be new! You look pretty good in the Team Rocket uniform. I do... Go on ahead. Oh! Wow. Very fast Eurus, moving at incredibly fast speeds. Hey Team Rocket, stop going around in groups and troubling people, you cowards! Huh? Are you Zephyr? What are you doing here? No way. You think you're strong now that you look like them? That's foolish. Yes. You shouldn't wear those things. Uh, wait, uh, oh, no, no. Oh. What? You? You're not a newcomer? Then battle with me. Oh, I thought I was going to fight Eurus, but this is fine. Send out Radicate. Okay. Level level tw I had to fight a level 34 to get here. What the hell? Oh, well, Shadow Ball's useless, so Thunderbolt it is. And another Radicate. Same level. It'll fall like the other one. Oh, Sucker Punch. That is pretty bad. Ooh. Yeah, that goes to show just how fragile Gengar is. Pretty much the biggest glass cannon Pokemon out there. <laughs> God, if that, if that thing was my level, I would might seriously get one shot just straight up. You are too powerful. You could spoil our plan. I have to inform the others. I see. You were trying to be sneaky. Huh. A typical idea of the meek. No matter. I'll let you handle this. I have to defeat the Dragon Tamer. What's his name? Lance. After that, it'll be your turn. Be ready for it. Man, we are overdue for another fight with Uris. Um, I'll ignore Anthony. Since, since Lich took that hit, let's put you in the back. Matoya! You're a slow king now, let's see how you do. Ha ha ha! How boring, it was far too easy to take over this place. Come on, keep me amused. Now, Matoya is still probably going to be slower than anything this guy throws at me. Arbok. Well, I have just the thing for... Oh my god. I... I, I forgot the back of... Of Slow King's shell had eyes on it. I genuinely forgot. Um, because, yeah, the lore is that... Like a shelter clamps down on a slowpoke. And that's what it evolves into with it. Crunch! Oh, that's not good. Oh, right. Matoya's very tanky and is super low level. We're good. <laughs> who, who are you? 
the man who kicked your ass. We're Team Rocket. We like to cause trouble. Ooh, are you scared? Five Pokemon. Level 20 ra 21 Radita. I am personally ins insulted. Okay, it's throwing out Sucker Punch. Might have Bite. Um, Matoya can deal with this one, but maybe not the rest. I'll have to swap out. Hopefully the next one doesn't know Pursuit. Um, Sabine, your fighting type. Show these normals what's the, what's what you what you're made of. Ah, oh, those rippling muscles. Now, Machamp is pretty slow too, but ah, uh, still faster. level 23, bit of a change of pace. I said change of pace, but it really doesn't feel like it. Ugh. Mash A. Just mash it. Riveting gameplay. So exciting. You think you're a hero? Yes. We're not always evil, we just do whatever we like. But you like doing evil, so that makes you evil. <laughs> uh, so, Sabine and Matoya and Lich got their time in the spotlight showing off their new forms. Let's try Ifrit now. Oh man, look at you. If Reed is very eager. Oh, that's right, buddy. Show them what you're made of. Hey, hey, keep out of our way. A Zubat. Really? Really, man? Flamethrower. Oh, man. Typhlosion's so cool. I miss the flame mohawk, but the flame, um, that poofy thing that, 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 that that's the thing with the clothing, well, it, it, that's cool too, I guess. Arg, I give up, as you should. Our executives are trying to take this place over. They have some big plan. I wonder what it is. Three years ago, Team Rocket was forced to disband. But we're making a comeback here. A Grimer. Sure. Fire is a neutral matchup to this. Maybe I should have just skipped this fight. <laughs> Oh, a muck. Okay, this thing is very defensive. It might actually live this. But we'll see. Oh, it got burned, so its attack is cut. 
Oh no. Minimize. Oh no, I'll never hit it and I'll be here for hours again. Whatever will I do? Swift never misses. I love you, Ifrit. You're my baby. My little, my little man's grown all up. <laughs> ah, don't get cute. Wow, he knew. <laughs> we won't let you ruin our plans for a comeback. We'll see about that. Uh, I want to go heal up. Everyone I have is pretty much injured. Okay. So I wasn't attacked immediately, but this is a new floor. I've never been to this. To trainers, Pokemon are their beloved partners. It's terrible how Team Rocket is trying to control Pokemon. Yep. Okay, that's a scientist. It's either a psychic or steel type. Hopefully steel. An unknown child wandering here? Who are you? A Magnemite. Good, I called it. Flamethrower. Another Magnemite. Another one for the pile. Wow, I wonder what this guy's favorite Pokemon is. Though I do appreciate that the levels are actually climbing. Level 27? That's respectable, relatively. Speaking of level 37... Or just level 7s, I guess. Ugh, I took you too lightly. So which way do I want to go? Well, there's stairs up. But what is... oh. Interesting. What is up here? That's... Those are employees, right? Who are you? You're Nurse Joy? Mary, oh. Okay. I see, so the way up is through that door. Because I need to find the password. Oh, there's st stairs up there? Maybe I need to fight everyone and get a password. You, you look like you know something. Proton, the leader of this radio tower mission. He is so cool. Who are you? If you're in the way of Proton, I mean Team Rocket, I won't allow that. And Ekans. Um, I'm just gonna start cutting through these. These are trivial. Team Rocket and Proton are all I need. Who cares about Pokemon? Hmm. Well, now that item is bothering me. Let's try poking our heads up here. Real quick. Oh! You look like the owner of this building? Ahem, do you hear me? I am the director. We have decided to broadcast wonderful shows to praise Team Rocket. Everyone, I don't want to hear you complain, just do a good job to... Yikes! I am busy impersonating the... Uh, who are you? Oh no, it's you again, Zephyr. No, 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 I was pretending to be the director that influenced the entire region to support Team Rocket. This time I won't hold back, give me all you've got. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why he needed to put on a whole costume to- Wow, that's six Pokemon. I'm not sure why he needed to put on a whole costume to mimic a voice, but... Okay. So, six Pokemon. The first is level 30. This guy is actually serious business. Oh, man. Well, let's start out with 
if we see how far we get. I only have eight uses of flamethrower left. One shot, not bad. A wheezing. This will definitely survive. Um, hopefully it doesn't use explosion. Hopefully. Smoke screen that lowers accuracy. But because of Swift, that's not that bad. This one thing will fall. Just like it's uh the the coughing from before. Yeah. Another coughing. I wonder what this guy's favorite Pokemon is. Let's stick with Swift, it's more reliable. Probably won't one shot it though. Yeah. Ooh, Sludge. That's a pretty respectable move. Nice, level 38. We're rocketing up there. Pun intended. Ah, nearly dead. One more hit should do. Oh my god, that was five coughing and one wheezing. I hate you. Why would you do this? Uh, oh, one HP. Okay, apparently Petrol isn't getting the message. Swift can't miss. Please, make a stop. <laughs> okay, let's use Swift twice more. Uh -huh. Make it stop. Hey, wait, are you serious? Yes. Ah, oh, finally. God, that's over. Okay, okay, I'll tell you where he is. Listen carefully. We stashed the real director in the underground warehouse. Below the department store! It's at the far end of the Goldenrod Tunnel. I'm a nice guy, I will give you the basement key to get to the underground warehouse. Take it with gratitude. Oh, I know where that is, it's right near where we got the uh, costume. Shut up, Christ. Okay. If we take the back seat, let's have Armin out front. But I'm not leaving without that item I saw. Down here, I need to fight you. It feels great ordering Pokemon to commit crimes. I feel lousy over losing. Bah, I hate useless Pokemon. I need a card key. But where get card key? Probably from the underground warehouse. Eh. Oh, I didn't fight you? Ah, well. The Underground. Oh! That's uh, one of the geishas! Team Rocket members in black suits have been running around. I was wondering what was going on. So you took on Team Rocket? You are impressive. You may be able to face the legendary Poke... 
<laughs> Never mind. I must go now. Gosh, that wasn't mysterious at all. The basement key. Stairs down right away. Man, I just... Huh. Goodness me. The... The underground base in Mahogany? Right before this. This is just weird pacing, but... I guess I need to fight you guys. Wait, what? Hold it? What I told you before was to deceive you? I thought it would let me tail you, and it would lead me to Lance. Well, he never showed up. No matter. I was planning to beat you after Lance, but since you are here, I will repay my debts. Here we friggin' go. It's about time. I knew this was coming. Oh, it had to happen sooner rather than later. Five Pokemon! Okay, starting with Golbat, that's a mirror match. I think it's doubtless that he has Feraligator now. And that's terrifying. Oh, jeez. Okay. So he probably has... The Golbat, a Haunter or Gengar, a Magnemite or Magneton, the Feraligator, the fifth Pokemon's new. He has something I have not seen him use yet. Crap. That should be like a friggin' Gyarados. What's the plan? What do I do? Armin could beat this Golbat, no problem, but it would get a bit dinged up in the meantime. I kind of want to U-turn immediately to... Uh, to, um... Lich. Use Thunderbolt on this, but... It might be better to save U-turn when I know what I'm gonna handle next, so... Let's try Bite. Hopefully flinch it. Air Cutter, that's a special attack. A critical hit. That's not good. So let's use Winged Attack, try and kill this thing. Another Air Cutter. Ugh. I could heal up right now, but I think we're, we'll be good to go. Okay, whatever whatever your assistant is next, Armin can and will outspeed it. U-turn is assured. Magnemite is not Magneton. Okay, that's very merciful. Okay, U-turn. This is a job for Ifrit. However, this probably means that after this Magnemite will be the Feraligator, probably. But in that case, we can send out Leviathan, hit it with that Intimidate. Ugh. Thunder Wave! Oh, that's bad. Mm, tell me I hit- I give him a Lumberry. I did not. What item did I give you? Come on, wh what item did I give you? Silk Scarf to boost normal. Ah. Crap. I think I need to just go ahead and try for the Flamethrower. Gonna be slower. Oh, you're going for Parafusion? Screw you, Eurus! Okay. 
Megamite's dead, but this brings out... Is it Crocona or Feraligator? Crocona or Feraligator? Ooh, not good. Not good. Huh, in a way it's kind of nice and poetic that our starters meet on the battlefield like this, but... Ifrit, you may be a few levels higher, but... Mm-mm, mm-mm. Not risk risking it, especially with that paralysis. Leviathan, get out here. Use that Intimidate, that's oh so good. Water Gun? What are you doing? Well, maybe this thing might know Ice Fang, so we'll have to watch out for that. Well, Leviathan knows Ice Fang. I think Strength is our best bet here. Yikes. That's not that good. Hmm. I'm tempted to use Dragon Rage. It couldn't be that much worse. Let's try it. Yeah, I did give the Silk Scarf away from Leviathan, so that's why Strength is weaker than usual. Okay, another Thrash. Should be good to go. Okay, what is arguably his biggest threat is now dead. <sighs> Sneasel! Okay, that's Dark and Ice! Interesting typing. Which means it's quad weak to fighting. Oh my god, Sabine, it's your time to shine. Get out here. I can't imagine this thing would have anything too lethal. Faint attack. <clears throat> I think that never misses. 40 power, maybe? Um. Yeah, let's go all in with that submission. I will take a bit of recoil, but Sabine should be able to handle it. In fact, this is a good chance to see what the recoil is like. Weird animation. That is not insignificant. Yikes. A Haunter. So it's not a Gengar just yet. Hey, hey, why so serious? I'm serious because it's a life or death matter. Um... As it happens... This thing hard counters me. I could use Foresight and be able to hit it next turn, but... Sabine's low on HP, so... Um... Gosh, this thing has Shadow Ball, that's a bad news. Lich and Matoya both are weak to it. That said... Matoya can probably take a bigger hit, so... Let's try this. I feel bad sending out a psychic type against a ghost, but oh, mean look. No escape, it's do or die. Surf. I prefer the surf to the confusion. Also, quick claw, let me go first! Oh, perfect! Why? Why do I lose? I've assembled the toughest Pokémon. I don't ease up on the gas. So why do I lose? I don't understand. Is what that Lance guy said true? That I don't treat Pokémon properly? Love? Trust? Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I... I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. Yeah, he's probably going to have a goal bat next time. Uh. All healed up. 
<sighs> Boy, if there's one good thing about fighting your rival, it's that you know that you won't have to deal with them for quite some time. Now, about this underground base. Open one door, another closes. But you can't get where you want to go. Yay, puzzles. I'm pretty sure that the green switch is the one to press last, I think. Interesting. Okay. Lich took a hit from a dark type move, so swap you back out. Uh Yeah, Leviathan, let's have you out for a bit. Haven't used you much like recently. So many fights in store. Oh man. I'm gonna have to cut this video before I can finish this. There's a purple switch. Uh, what are you? I don't recognize your sprite. You're not a regular grunt, are you? Fork over your goods? Burglar Duncan? Wow! How unique! And weird! Steal and sell. That's basic in crime, kid. Well, there's an item. A smoke ball. That's like a Clefairy doll. Or a polka doll, rather. Uh... For what reason do you exist up top? I want to talk to you. So what are you? A trainer. Okay. Maybe you'll tell me some info about the switches. I'll let you in on a secret if you can beat me. Well, there we go. Alright, a hint. Look at the color of the door switches. You push a color switch and the same color door opens up. I... yeah, I could have figured that. So... This is... green? Okay, let's try hitting green. But it said they do that last, so I don't know. Oh. Wait. Okay, that does open up. So I'd want blue, maybe. Then red. Yeah. It's purple. Oh, that's just a shortcut back, I see. I need to fight that guy, though. Have to be mindful. Are you lost? No, you can't be. You don't have that scared look. I'll give you something to be scared about. What's in here? Ooh, I see storage boxes. This is kind of like the underground part. An item. An Ultra Ball. Nice and free. So do I have any ethers? My Aqua Tail PP is getting a bit low. <laughs> um. Oh, there's a max ether. No regular ethers though. Uh, I'll just bench Leviathan for a bit. Uh, Sabine, let's have you take the stand. Take the stand. Playing too much Ace Attorney. Or scratch that, there's no such thing as too much Ace Attorney. Oh, speaking of ethers, there we go. Uh, I want to avoid that guy if I can. Stairs up, but there's a familiar face. I think this is the last trainer we need to beat. How did you get this far? I guess it can't be helped. I'll dispose of you. Eh. I'm not trash. I feel like trash. I probably belong in a trash can. But I'm not trash. Shut up. Wake up slap, huh? 
high damage on a sleeping foe. Oh, is that... Is that better than Karate Chop? It is. Lower power points, but... Wait, is this 100%? Yeah, it is accurate, so... Yeah, I'll... Probably replace that. Wait, accuracy doesn't matter. Machop has... I mean, Sabine has, uh... No guard. Has 100% accuracy on everything. I got disposed of. Okay. You must be the real person. Oh, sleep talk. Who? What? You came to rescue me? Thank you. The radio tower, what's happening there? Taken over by Team Rocket? Here, take this card key. Oh, use that to open the shutters on the third floor. I see how it is. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they'll do if they control the transmitter. They may even be able to control Pokemon using this special signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower. And all the Pokemon nationwide. Man, I forgot how high the stakes got in this game. <laughs> Give me that item. Amulet coin! Hey! Could use that to w rake in the big bucks. Huh, so I guess this door that was here opened, we're in the department store. Neat. Whew, okay. I was hoping to take care of all this rocket business before the video ended, but we'll probably have to save that for the beginning of next time. So, my god, we beat the seventh gym leader, and we also beat our rival, and we kicked the asses of a whole bunch of no good criminals, and we didn't suffer a single death. This is cause for celebration. <laughs> it certainly helps that um, all my Pokemon are fully evolved, really. Like, out of everyone I own, like, uh, who isn't evolved yet? There's um, Omega, my Magneton. Um, and Carbuncle, of course. Maybe a few others, but I'm not sure. Either way, it just feels good to have such powerful Pokémon at, at the ready. Uh, that does taste a bit better, though. Uh, a bit bitter, though. Here at level 35, this is the level that Titan could have evolved. Titan, our fallen champion, could have been a golem. Oh, I would have happily brought him along on this adventure. Anyway... Can't let bygones be bygones, can I? <laughs> well, next time, we'll finish up this rocket business, probably fight some big bad boss, maybe one of the other admins. Or maybe Giovanni himself, though I think Giovanni's still in hiding, maybe. And from there, I suppose we'll continue east from Mahogany Town, and maybe reach the... the... the black something. Uh, the, 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 the next town. We'll see. So, for now, I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, I'll catch you next time. So, until then, please take care.